So in case anyone hasn't heard, uh, Bernie Sanders has dropped out of the um, primary race. And so obviously he was in the race to decide who would face um, Donald Trump um, to become, you know, if Donald Trump will stay on as president or if um, he'll leave. And so look, um, you know, he decided to drop out. I think it's partly because of the pandemic that's going on and the fact that voting won't be delayed. And so sending people out there um, would be pointless. And the fact that some of the um, poll workers and I think other people have caught the coronavirus um, purely because they were outside when they didn't have to be. And I think um, Bernie's realised that, look, he's not going to win. Um, the, the path to victory is very narrow and essentially people will die. And um, it's sad that it's ended like this, I guess. But I guess it does fit into his character of putting other people first. Um, so he, you know, he's he sort of... I, I want to say he's moved the country to the left, but I'm not sure. Purely because the opinion polls can say that they favour his policies. Um, but if they say he favour, favours policies, that means they don't favour him as a person. Which, I guess, is it's better that they favour the policies over him because then, in the long term, it will be easier to implement these policies. But at the same time... Um, it just you know it's the same problem we had in the UK where people like these ideas but they just don't like the people implementing them more. Perhaps when push comes to shove, they think that th- these ideas are unrealistic and we just need a match winner, uh, really. And that's why they picked Biden because they think Biden will beat Trump, which is ridiculous in itself. Hashtag Tara Reid. Um, anyways, you know for a long time, you know, he's been slipping slowly. I think he had some Bernie had some early success and you know once they coalesced, once the um, the other candidates coalesced around Biden. It just all went wrong, and so we've got some analysis here from Mr. Anthony Zucker. Um, so look, though his second presidential bid ends in April with a modest announcement from his home in Vermont, a reflection of the you know pa- pandemic. Any hope for miracle comeback was ended. Like he, not even the Egyptian god cards have saved him here. And honestly, he needed an absolute miracle draw, and he just wasn't going to get it. You know, he's had two two losses, but you know he's pushed. Um, universal healthcare, something we have in the UK and really take for granted. Um, even now with the pandemic, I feel like it's just we don't value them enough. Um, and I feel like in the US, like I can't, I can't. If if you live in the US, right, and you pay all these things, copays, deductibles, and all the things, like I wonder how hard it is for you to imagine a world where you don't have to do that. I do, I do wonder um, how difficult must it be for you to not go through the old systems and think, wow, this is some sort of utopia where if I break my leg or have a, you know, get involved in a car accident, especially when it's not my fault, I won't be saddled with bills. I'll just, I can go to the hospital. Like I'd have to worry about, you know, how much an ambulance is going to charge. Um, and I think Bernie dropped out early, partly because of the pandemic and partly because he didn't want to be tarred with, um, if Biden loses, which is a strong possibility purely because Biden, he, he's in cognitive decline honestly and so i think he didn't want to be tired of that brush and uh, of um, you know it's because of you we lost um again so what's the reaction um you know um i know bernie uh, this is vice president joe biden oh former vice president joe biden i know bernie well he's a good man a great leader one of the most powerful voices for changing our country um you know blah blah, blah. and um you know uh, warren saying that um thanks for fighting so relentlessly for american working families during the campaign you get that much warren that you didn't even endorse by uh, bernie um, you know, Trump taking a stab saying that you know if Warren wasn't there Bernie would have won more um, the Bernie people should come to the Republican Party trade and so Trump's really sticking a knife in here he's very smart in doing so because there are some divisions here and there are some people who go from Bernie to Trump just like they went from Bernie uh, to Trump in 2016 uh, which was unfortunate but if Hillary wanted to tie up that wing she would have done so and she didn't in the same way Bern, uh, Biden will not do so because of his arrogance and his bad advisors but um, anyways this is just a video on you know Bernie dropping out and you know I'll do a video I think sometime soon in the in the upcoming weeks about how um, I look up to Bernie Sanders and how you know he was a game changer for not just people in the US but people I think throughout the world um, because when America does something people tend to follow look at Reaganomics inspiring um, Thatcher look at um, Bill Clinton's third way inspiring Tony Blair and I think that if if Bernie had won, it would have helped a lot of left wing um, politicians uh, throughout the world. But unfortunately, that hasn't happened. But um, yeah, it's it's sad to see, but it's one of those things where you know it's it's another setback, um, another punch that's landed, and you just have to go again. You know, Biden wins or loses, you know, um, it doesn't matter at this point. You know, there's there's still you know in America there's still House seats to win, uh, I think Senate seats to win, and so look, you need a big left wing turnout, otherwise. Um, you're just going to get more of the same regardless and so I'll leave it there and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one remember like, comment, subscribe